We're live. Hi guys. Uh, I'm gonna wait for a few of you to come on and I'll introduce myself. I am super psyched to be live with Godash Dot today. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Stephanie. I am a yoga teacher here in New York and I am super, super psyched to just lead you in a little yoga snack, right? It's 12 about and some of us have been working, we've been sitting over our computers, we need to open up our shoulders, we need to move our bodies. Um, we just like need to like get a little bit of energy. So that's what we're gonna do today uh, for about a half hour or so. So once we've got a few more on, we are going to get started. Hi guys, super, super excited to be on here. So again, if you're new to me, my name is Stephanie Schwartz. I am an, a New York City based yoga teacher. Um, I teach for studios like Equinox and Y7. Um, and I also teach privately as well. I'm also teaching on Zoom. Um, so you can totally feel free to head over to my page, follow me uh, and see that schedule if you like what you do here today. Um, so hi guys, thanks for hopping on. Yeah, we are gonna have a fun little yoga snack, a little yoga treat. Um, so if you haven't already gotten out your mat, go ahead and get out your mat, set up your space. When it comes to doing yoga or really any kind of uh, physical activity, it's really important to like the space that you're in. So set up a space that feels inviting, that feels fun, that feels clean, that feels good. Um, and that is when we will get started. So um, hi guys, a few new people on there. Um, we're gonna get started in just a couple of minutes, but I am super, super excited once again to join Godash Dot today. Today's today, Wednesday. Yeah, so it's the middle of the week. We need to open up our shoulders. We need to move our body. We need to breathe. Uh, we need to just make it happen. So I uh, know that we're gonna start in a couple of minutes and you are welcome to roll out your mats uh, and get yourself ready. Cool, yeah. So how many of you guys are from New York? Anybody here? If you are, you can go ahead and let me know with a little, I don't know, wave or something. Um, yeah, still in New York, a few months into this whole quarantine situation and we're still kicking. So uh, feeling good about that. <laughs> yeah, all right. So go ahead, when you're ready, make your way over to your mat. We'll start in about two minutes. You can settle in. Yeah, if you uh, have a playlist that you really like, you can play that. I'm gonna play a little bit of music in the background. Um, so you'll have a little bit uh, of music just to move and groove to. And know that this flow will be about 25 or 30 minutes and we'll breathe, we'll sweat, we'll open up our shoulders, we'll engage the core a little bit. We just wanna make sure that we're offsetting all of that uh, rolling forward that we do when we are working at our desks for a lot of the day. Um, even if we are in our apartments, we're probably, uh, maybe we're not even at a proper desk. We might be on the couch, uh, sitting in all different kinds of ways. So we just wanna make sure that we've got uh, nice posture, that we're taking care of the spine and all of that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead, let's, let's get started. Go ahead and make your way onto your mat. And I'm gonna go ahead and press play on my playlist. And you can come into what we call Virasana, hero's pose. So you'll sit on your heels, or if you have the ability to sit in between your heels, you can, for some people that's really uncomfortable on the knees, you never wanna feel this in the knees. So if you are, just set up on your heels and if that's still too much, grab a pillow, you probably have one somewhere, and just sit up on the pillow, right? You can put that pillow right in between your uh, ankles and you've got some height. So go ahead, sit nice and tall, lengthen out your spine. And we're just gonna take a few breaths to settle in. That's how we always start a yoga flow. We're always gonna start with a little centering, a little breathing. So get really long through your spine. Right, let your eyes start to close. And for today, go ahead and let one hand rest on your belly space and one hand rest on your heart space. And it's this action of resting hands to belly and heart that allows us to just connect to ourselves. Right, especially in the middle of the day, it's really refreshing to come back to ourselves. 
right? When we've been maybe pulled in a few different directions, maybe from work, from home. It's these moments that remind us that we have the capacity to come back to ourselves, to remember who we are, to remember what's important to us. So as you arrive into this pose, into this practice, just scan the body for a moment. Notice if you can sit up a little taller, if you can roll your shoulders back just a little bit more. Observe whether your jaw is a little bit hinged or clenched. If you can let go of that, let go of that. And simply begin to notice your breath. You might feel how it feels as your belly expands and presses into your bottom hand. And you might feel how it feels as that stale breath exits out your nose on your exhale. Feel how it feels, get tall, stay present, and just notice where you could let go a little bit. Breathe in through your nose, and breathe out through your nose. Take about three to five more complete cycles of breath right here. feeling how it feels to get taller, to let go of what's no longer serving you, what you no longer need, and to give yourself even just this little bit of time for you. Right? It's the middle of the day. We don't have a ton of time probably, but we have a little bit. So let's make the most of this time to come back to ourselves. So set an intention, right? For the next 20, 25, 30 minutes of your life, how are you gonna show up for yourself? How will you move? How will you think? Perhaps your intention revolves around focusing on your breath, staying in tune with your breaths in and out, never holding it. Perhaps your intention is to keep your brain on your mat rather than thinking ahead. Or maybe your intention is to move with a ton of grace and ease. All right, whatever that intention is, begin to integrate it into your body, into your mind. And you can start to flutter your eyes open. And go ahead, interlace your fingers. Extend your arms up and over your head. You can flip your palms, get really tall, really long. Broaden across your collarbones. Maybe you look up towards the sky and you keep those arms up and then perhaps you tuck your chin and just stretch the back of your neck. Again, inhale, look up towards the sky. And exhale, tuck your chin. And then just let your hands melt down and next to your shins. Wrap your right hand around your right shin. Your left hand crosses over to the right side of your head. Give yourself a little tug here. Just feel how that feels. So as you hold on to your shin, you just get a little bit more traction here, a little more tension across that neck muscle. Stay here for a breath in. On your exhale, release your head, come on up. We'll change sides. So your left hand reaches for your left shin, your right hand crosses to the left side of your head. Give yourself a little tug, right? Feel that feeling. Notice that muscle, it probably needs a little release. We get stressed, that muscle gets tighter. So while you stretch it, send a little breath right into that space that feels tight and then let it go, come all the way back up, nice. Clasp your palms at your low back, you can make one fist and extend your arms long and out. Go ahead, tuck your chin down and roll your head back. We're just starting with a little neck action. Tuck your chin and go ahead, look up, 
Final time, tuck your chin. Final time, go ahead, look up. Ah, release your arms, roll your shoulders back. Roll your shoulders forward. So good, if you're sitting on a block or a, a pillow or anything, ditch it, right? And meet me on all fours. So we're gonna meet in this tabletop position. Palms are underneath your shoulders. Knees are underneath your hips. And we're just gonna move. So you're gonna go into your cow pose first. So you'll inhale, you'll broaden across your collarbones. You'll look forward. And then exhale, big arch, press the mat away. Arch that spine, press it up. Tuck your chin, good. Inhale again for cow pose. Look forward, open up your heart. Exhale again, big arch, cat spine. Press the mat away. We take these about three more times. So go ahead, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, big arch, cat spine. Again, inhale for cow, two more like this. Again, big arch for exhale, cat. One more time, inhale, look forward for cow. Again, exhale, big cat, and then just start to roll yourself around, right? You might take some, take some uh, circles in your hips, right? You might undulate across your chest as well. There's a lot of ways you could do this, but the idea is that you're lubricating your spine. You want to feel that spine move. You want to open up across your collarbones. Yeah, let's take it the other way. Whichever variation you're doing feels good. If you've got a ponytail, you might whip it around, have fun, right? Yoga can be fun. It doesn't have to be so serious all the time. Good, and then just send your hips back. Reach your arms forward. Take a long child's pose. Your forehead comes down. You stretch your arms out. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, look forward at your hands, come back to all fours, tuck your toes, send your hips back, and you are in a downward facing dog. So I can't see you, but here's what I know. A lot of times in our down dogs, we forget to flatten out our palms. So flatten out your palms, really expand your fingers like starfish. Sometimes we forget to press our tailbone further back. And if your hamstrings are really, really tight, put a little bend in your knees like I am and really shove that tailbone long and back behind you, right? And as you start to breathe and create a little more space in the body, you might play with melting your heels just a touch closer to the mat. They never have to touch, it's not important, right? I'm gonna turn down my volume really quick, but stay in that down dog, right? Breathe it out. Big inhale and big exhale. Let's just start to flow a little bit. So inhale like an ocean wave, ripple your spine forward into a plank pose. Now you can untuck your toes and we're gonna move right into an upward facing dog. So roll your chest open, broaden across your collarbones, lift through your knees, take a breath in, and then exhale, roll back over your feet down dog. We're going to take that three more times. So follow me. Inhale, ripple forward like an ocean wave. Untuck your toes, open up your chest. That's your up dog. Broaden across your collarbones, squeeze your butt. Exhale, roll back, downward facing dog. Two more just like that. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank. Flip your feet, up dog. Keep those knees lifted away from the mat. And send your hips back, downward facing dog, final time. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank, flip your feet, up dog, stay here, right? Stay here, look over your left shoulder. Ooh, yeah, come back to center. Look over your right shoulder, oh, big twist. Come back to center, flip over your feet, downward facing dog, breathe it out. Take about three to five cycles of breath here. Let your breath prepare you. Let your breath center you. Let your breath keep you present, right? To what is right now. Big breath in. Easy breath out. 
One more big inhale. If your hands are slipping, just walk them back a little bit. One more big exhale. And then inhale, look forward at your fingers. Start to take some little steps, right? So your legs are gonna stay really long, but you're gonna take some little steps all the way up to the top of the mat. Right, when you reach the top of the mat, your feet are about hips width distance apart. Let your head hang long. You can shake your head yes. You can shake your head no. Now, if your hands are kind of hanging right here, like they're not touching, bend your knees until they touch, right? We don't need to torture ourselves, but we do want to make a little contact so we're not just hanging out in space, right? Shake it no. Not a yes, maybe reach for opposite elbows and you could sway side to side. Very nice, let that feel good. Feel like the crown of your head is weighing down your entire spine so you just get a huge stretch through your spine. And release your hands down, put a little bend in your knees. Slowly, just for this round, we start to roll ourselves up to stand, right? So every single part of your spine clicks into place. When you reach the top, shoulders roll up and then back. Ah, if you need to adjust, adjust your clothes. Palms face forward, feel your shoulder blades plug down and away from your ears. This is called Tadasana, mountain pose. So feel how it feels. Stand tall, stand proud. You'll take a big breath in. You'll take a big breath out. Let's get that heart rate up just a little bit. Follow me. Inhale, sweep your arms up and over your head. Exhale, dive forward over your legs. It's a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen out your spine. It's a half lift. You'll look forward. Stay with me. Plant your palms down. Step back with your right foot first. Step back with your left foot second. So you end up in a high plank pose. Right? Hold on to this plank. Spiral your elbows forward. Take a big breath in. And then come forward an inch over your fingertips. Now, if you want to take your knees to the mat, you can take your knees to the mat. Otherwise, elbows bend and you hover halfway in chaturanga. Then open up your chest, upward facing dog. My knees are off the mat, right? So if your knees are on the mat, try to lift them up. Roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Stay here for three breaths, right? We use those breaths to recalibrate. Maybe you notice that you could send your tailbone back just a little further. Yeah, maybe you notice that you can plant your heels a little closer to the earth. Final breath in. Final breath out. Inhale, look forward at your hands. Put a little bend in your knees. This time, step your right foot forward and then your left foot forward. Forward fold. Start to roll yourself up to stand. Arms sweep up and over your head. You stay for a breath in. And then we take this again. Exhale, forward fold. Sun salutation A. Right? These are a great way to lift the heart rate. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hands come down. Step back with your left foot first. Your right foot second this time, and now you're in that high plank again. Can you fire up your plank by pressing the mat away? Squeeze your glutes together, stay for a breath in, come forward an inch. Exhale, maybe you take your knees, or elbows bend, chaturanga. Inhale, open up your chest, that's your up dog, look forward, beautiful. Exhale, send your hips back, downward facing dog, stay for three breaths. So nice. Let those breaths just move through you. Beautiful. Stay with that breath. Two more. So good. You've got one more. And then you'll look forward at your hands. You'll put a little bend in your knees. You can step your right foot forward and then your left foot forward, top of the mat. Slowly roll yourself up to stand. We take this one more time. Inhale, sweep your arms up and over your head. Exhale, forward fold, hands come down. Lengthen your spine, it's a half lift. Pull your belly button in and then plant your palms. This time you could step back. If you wanna hop to chaturanga, you could hop. Only if you know how to hop to bent elbows, right? We wanna protect those elbows. 
Meet in a down dog, breathe in and out. You've got two more breaths right here. So nice. Final inhale. Final exhale. We're going to change things up. So inhale, lift your right leg high up and back behind you. You could point your toes and flex your toes, right? Just opening up the back of the leg. And then go ahead, open up your right hip. Bend your right knee. Ah, maybe a circle or two here. Just opening up that hip. Extend your right leg long and back behind you. And exhale, light as a feather, step your right foot inside your hands. There's your low lunge. So just take a moment, right? That first low lunge is often, often a little bit uh, intense. So you might just rock forward and back a little bit. You'll just kind of get that left side hip to open up. It's often that opposite hip that really feels this. And then drop your left knee down. Untuck your left toes. Arms lift up. And this is your Anjane Asana, your low crescent lunge. So broaden your collarbones, look up to the sky. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, move your hands to your ears. So your elbows are out to the sides. Kind of roll your shoulders back, plug them down, squeeze your inner thighs for stability. And on your next exhale, twist to the right. So that right elbow points back, that left elbow points forward, and you just get this big opening across your shoulders. Stay for a breath in. And stay for a breath out. Maybe you start to open up your arms for a big open T-twist. Gorgeous. One more inhale here. As you exhale, reach forward, arms lift up by your ears. Now, hands come down inside your right foot, wide in that right foot wide. Your left shin, that's your back shin, crosses the mat, so it just gives you a little balance. Right hand stays down, left arm reaches forward and then up. Ah, and then you've got this beautiful open twist, right? It's like a baby extended side angle if you're used to taking yoga that's familiar to you. Good, you'll look up towards your left fingers, plug your left shoulder down and away from your left ear, and just breathe, right? If you're feeling your right tricep press into your right thigh, that's, that traction opens up that hip a little deeper. So nice, one more breath right here. As you exhale, pick yourself up, you're in this big open twist, and then your left hand reaches for your left shin, right arm reaches over your head, feel that right side body open up, breathe in, and then exhale, you'll cartwheel your hands down and inside your right foot. Left shin straightens back out, pull back through your right leg for half split. So I kind of walk my right heel a little more forward so that when I pull back, I get a really intense stretch. Let's move through this a couple times. So inhale, re-bend your right knee, look forward, open your chest. Exhale, pull back nice and long through your right leg. Inhale, re-bend, look forward. Exhale, pull back nice and long, one more like this. Inhale, re-bend, bend, bend that knee. This time, exhale, pull back. Stay here long. Maybe you walk your hands forward. Let your head drop. That is a big hamstring stretch. So just feel how it feels. Might be a little intense. You could always put a little bend in your right knee. Stay for another inhale. And another exhale. Good. Inhale, re-bend your knee. Step into that right foot. Your back toes tuck, your back knee lifts up. So that's your low lunge. Sweep your right leg out and around. High plank pose. Find that plank. Take a breath in. And exhale for chaturanga. Ah, uh, yeah. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. You're feeling a lot more open now, I bet. Let's take the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg high up and back. Again, you can open up this left hip, bend your left knee, a couple circles here. Yeah. Let it feel really good. Inhale, left leg long and back. Exhale, lightly step your left foot inside your hands. When I say lightly, I mean don't let it stop. Don't let it fall down to the mat. Your right knee will tap down. Actually, no, keep that right knee up for a minute. Just rock forward and back. 
All right, just open up that hip. You're gonna feel that in both hips, really, but that front right hip point is probably gonna feel it a lot. And that's okay, we like that feeling. Stay for a breath. Right knee taps down. Untuck your right toes. Lift your arms up for your low crescent lunge on Asana. So your left knee is 90 degrees. You feel an inner, an inner thigh squeeze. That's what keeps you lifted. Stay up, breathe in, and breathe out. Good, hands come to your ears, your elbows are out wide. Use that inner thigh squeeze to twist yourself to the left. So now your left elbow faces the back of the room, right elbows forward. Ooh, I feel this a lot on this side. So inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, twist a little deeper. Ooh, good. And maybe you start to open up your arms, big open T twist. Those shoulders are probably feeling this, mine are. Inner thighs are active, stay for a breath in. As you exhale, come forward again, arms lift up. Good, hands come down inside your left foot this time. Widen that left knee over a little bit. And then identify your back right shin. Cross it over to the left side of the mat. Left hand stays down, right arm reaches forward and then up for a nice baby extended thigh angle. So roll yourself backwards, lean into that left hip, look up to your right fingertips. So good, you've got a full breath in, you've got a full breath out, so gorgeous. All right, we start to change it up. Lift yourself up to that big open twist. And then your right hand comes to your back right thigh. Left arm reaches over your head. Stay, big inhale here. Woo, and then exhale, cartwheel your hands back down inside your left foot. Your right shin straightens out. Left foot starts to walk a couple inches forward and then pull back through your left leg half split. We're gonna go through those a few times. So. Inhale, re-bend your left knee, come forward. Exhale, pull back through the leg, half split. Inhale, lean forward, yep. Exhale, pull back. Good, one more like this. Inhale, lean forward, open across your collarbones. Exhale, pull back, stay, nice and long. All right, as you inhale, you might look forward a little bit across your breastbone. And exhale, melt down into your left thigh. We'll stay here for a full inhale. And a full exhale, beautiful. Rebend your left knee, plant your palms down, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, sweep that left leg out to the side, high plank, fire it up, big inhale. And then exhale, chaturanga. Woo. Inhale for your up dog, pretty. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's move through those little uh, plank pose to up dogs three more times. So here we go, inhale, ripple forward. Right away, flip your feet, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your feet, downward facing dog. Two more like that. Inhale, ripple forward, right away, flip your toes, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Final time like this, inhale, ripple forward, up dog, look forward, exhale, roll over your feet, downward facing dog. Three breaths right here. Come back to yourself, feel how the body changes in such a short amount of time. All right, we can do so much by just moving and breathing, maybe sweating a little bit, one more breath in, exhale, drop your knees down, come to a child's pose. Send your hips back, arms go long, forehead down. And then start to walk your hands back to your knees. Start to sit up on your heels the way we started class. Come onto your butt, reach those legs forward. And you can just keep your feet planted down and roll all the way down onto your back. So, you want to make sure that you can feel the back of your heels with your fingers, right? You're going to kind of reposition your tush, get those shoulders underneath you a little bit. And as you inhale, you'll lift your hips up for bridge pose. Now, 
If you notice that your knees just fell out to the side, pull them in. They don't need to touch, that's too far, but you want to keep your inner thighs active. Maybe you start to roll your shoulders underneath you a little bit and squeeze through your glutes just for a little extra height. So good. Stay planted in your feet, lifting in your hips. Breathe here for three. Breathe here for two. Breathe here for one. And then gently start to roll yourself down. Let your knees fall together, feet go wide on the mat, and then you can just windshield wiper your knees side to side. Our final move in this little mini yoga snack will be to let both knees fall over to the left. So let both knees fall over, and then take your left foot, cross it over your right knee, right? Arms can tee out. Good, and you can just gaze over at your right fingertips. A little supine twist, feels really good. Stay for a big inhale. And a big exhale, let your whole low back just recalibrate. You can do these any time in the day, by the way. If you're ever feeling tight in your back, you can take a spinal twist, it'll feel really good. Come back to center, release your legs. Let your knees fall over to the right this time. All right, you might kind of scoot your butt over to the left. And then maybe you take your right foot over your left knee and just gaze over your left fingers. Just stretch out those shoulders. Feel the change in the body from the beginning to now. It's really important just to acknowledge what we've done. We've done a lot, All right? You've done a lot. So nice, guys. Another breath in, and another exhale, good. So go ahead, release that knee, come back to center, give yourself a little squeeze, pull your knees into your chest, maybe you lift your head, your chin, and your knees touch, and then go ahead, release yourself down onto the mat, right? So your palms will face up, your feet will splay out and you just descend into your final resting pose. I'm gonna change my music to be a little more down-regulating, right? So it's a little bit less intense sounding. Uh, we wanna keep it nice and chill. And you can stay in this Shavasana, this final resting pose for as long as you want. I recommend three to five minutes. Um, middle of the day, I get it, it's hard to get yourself to do it, but just try to lay there, unwind, even for 15 cycles of breath, you'll get some benefits. So enjoy your yoga snack. I hope you had a great time. Again, my name is Stephanie Schwartz. You can find me on Instagram, Stephanie B. Schwartz. I'm teaching virtually. Um, so go ahead, come on in. I can't wait to see you on the mat again. And uh, have a wonderful, beautiful Wednesday. Uh, enjoy your week. It's been a pleasure. See you next time.